In this video, we're taking an in-depth look at the brand spanking new Radiant Guardian MOS optic plate and why this is the coolest optic plate I've encountered. The Radiant Guardian and Radiant 6 iron backup sights are an all-in-one optic system for the Glock MOS and Walther PDP 2.0. This optic plate features an advanced mounting system which is far superior to a standard screwed and torqued optic plate. The Guardian is made of Type 3 hard anodized 7075 aluminum with machined stainless steel fasteners. These fasteners have oversized Torx sockets which help prevent the dreaded screw head stripping. The screws that mount the plate to the slide have little true seal o-rings which prevent the need for a sealing plate and keeps moisture out of the mounting threads. Now let's address the elephant in the room. This thing has a dang shield on the front which protects the RMR face. This shield looks big and heavy, but it is not at all. In fact, the Guardian weighs less than a standard MOS optic plate. This guard lets you rack the firearm against any hard surface without damaging or scratching the RMR. Jumping back to the optic mounting, the Guardian uses what they call stud lock. The stud lock studs are mounted from the underside of the optic plate and stick up through the RMR optic mounting holes. Then you torque on a fastener to clamp the optic down to the plate instead of just mounting it with threaded screws. These screws, as mentioned before, have oversized Torx heads. What really sets this plate apart is the optional six iron backup sights. The rear sight mounts inside the guardian shield and is secured with a screw. The six iron sights also include a tall snag free front sight post. The backup sights are naturally co-witnessing with your RMR and are in the front irons configuration. The backup sights come with a little plate that mounts in your existing rear sight slot to patch it up. Let's talk real quick about my channel supporters, ETS, and their speed loaders. So ETS makes the translucent magazines like this big stick over here. But they also make these speed loaders. These are the ETS cam speed loaders. So this is what you do with the ETS speed loader. You take your magazine, you take your speed loader, and you put your magazine right in the bottom. You take your tray of ammunition, and then you scoop up 10 rounds at a time. So here's 10 rounds. Take your plunger on the front, and then that's it loaded 10 rounds inside the magazine, and then you rinse and repeat. Do it as many times as you want. Keep your fingers off that ammunition and no more mag thumb. Thank you, ETS. Radiant Guardian optic mounting plate with the six backup sights. That's right, look at this dude right here. So you have your very thin, very skinny plate right on the bottom. This mounts right up to your Glock MOS optic system, and you'll notice there's no gap in the back over here. Then you have a shield that sits right here in front of the RMR. Now I'm not one of the people that were able to demo this. I haven't seen this at any trade shows or anything. Radian reached out to me and asked if I was interested in reviewing the Guardian optic plate with the six backup sights. So I said, sure, I love Radian. I love what they do, why not? So the Radian Guardian is made out of 7075 aluminum and you have stainless steel fasteners on it. What's kind of cool is Radian actually uses what's called stud lock fasteners. Now these fasteners also have a seal on them. It actually weather seals your plate to your slide and doesn't allow any moisture to get into your screw holes. There's little O-rings on those fasteners. But these stud locks too, you're not actually torquing your optic directly to the plate using screws, you're actually using fasteners that are, are nuts essentially and they bolt on. So you're actually torquing nuts on so it gives you way more thread engagement and the stud lock screws give you a true thread engagement. So typical optic screws give you a little tiny bit of bite and you don't have much thread engagement. That means you can easily strip your screws out, strip your threading on your slide out, um, which is all not fun. I've dealt with it many times. Um, not to mention, they're easy to shear off. And especially if you're like me and you have a tendency to rack your optic, use your optic as a point to rack your slide. So there's that. So what's kind of cool about this guy is the Guardian, the Guardian sits in front of the RMR and mounts directly to the MOS system on your Glock. You notice in the back right here, there's no gap between your slide cut, your optic cut, and your plate. That also increases strength and durability of your slide. What's kind of cool is you can actually take this thing and you can rack it against whatever you want. Hard surfaces, I've done it against tree stumps, I've done it against my table, and 
whatever, and it protects your optic, so you're not actually damaging your optic. Now let's talk real quick about your six backup sights. Now the six, the six backup sights essentially are like an irons forward type sight system. So you actually have a little iron sight that's mounted to the front shield right here on the Guardian. They call that the six. So I know the number six might be confusing you guys. Also comes with a new front sight post as well. Now the six backup sights are optional. They don't necessarily come with the optic plate unless you order them as a kit together. So what's so cool about this optic plate? Well, number one, it's actually lighter than the standard MOS optic plate that comes with your Glock. And that was one of my biggest concerns. I'm thinking you have this big old guard in front of your armor, and then also a plate, you think there's added weight to that, which there is not. It's actually lighter than your standard factory MOS plates. Number two, you actually have some durability. They have that new thread locking system, that stud lock, it's stronger. You're not talking about just screws inside a threaded hole. You're talking about studs sticking up with fasteners actually fastening your optic to your plate. Another thing is you have that guard in front of it. So you're actually protecting your optic against racking. You can actually use that easier. Now you can use that to rack back your optic without putting pressure on your optic plate or the possibility of shearing off your optic as well. So overall, it's lighter, it's stronger, and it's more protective of your optic there really is no drawback to it, and that's it. So if you guys are interested in this, check out the link in the description below. I'm gonna have a blog with everything I'm using in this video. I'm gonna find some of the best prices for you guys as well with the Guardian and the six backup sites.